Hi, everybody. Uh, it is Thursday, the 12th of January. God, is it already? <laughs> um, before I go on with some music for today, um, I just want to say how unbelievably stunned we were yesterday when we were getting on, finally getting on the plane after a three-hour delay because of what the, whatever the hell happened yesterday to the air traffic system. We were just getting into our seats when we got the news that Jeff Beck had passed away. And I find it just absolutely shocking. You know, there's certain people that just have an energy force about them that, you know, seems like they'll be here forever. And the idea that this guy's gone now, who was probably still one of the greatest guitar players ever, just flat out ever, um, who stayed so true to his style and technique and taste and, and creativity from the very first appearances that, that we I became aware of him back with Yardbirds and stuff. Um, to the last note he played, um, he was a remarkable guy. I mean, uh, I always enjoyed when I, when I would see him, he would always look at me and he'd go, Stratus, <laughs> Stratus. He loved Billy Cobham, Stratus. He, he always had that in his show. He loved Tommy Boland's guitar playing. And uh, and then we would talk hot rods, cars. You know, he was such a grease monkey. And uh, so we've, we've lost one of the true giants. And we actually lost another also the, the, just before leaving uh, the day before. I heard um, that uh, Dennis Budimir had passed away. And Dennis... When I was in group th in a, in the band group therapy, and we were uh, doing our first album back in 1967, we weren't allowed to play on our record. The Wrecking Crew played on our album, and he was one of the Wrecking Crew. Um, he uh, on that session, I think it was Tommy Tedesco and Dennis Budimir, uh, Mike Dacey, and Al Casey were the guitar section on that on those sessions. And after that, I did many, many sessions with Dennis. He was a remarkable uh, member of the uh, L.A. music scene, the studio scene, and uh, bigger than life bodybuilder. So he'd always come in in muscle T-shirts and stuff. He was he was a trip. Uh, so I, my heart's with his family and and our community here in L.A. too, having lost him and then to find out that Jeff was gone after that was really unbelievable but you know we thank God for legacy you know I mean Jeff Beck will live forever as an iconic musician um, just so great so great I mean just I still I find this just shocking and and hard to to fathom that that that, that guy is is gone now so uh, getting ready, I've got about 40 minutes, and then we leave for um, setup and sound check for our show tonight. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. I'm tired. I'm tired right now, but it was a long, long day yesterday and night with all the travel stuff. But we got here. Our gear was here, so you know, knock on, knock on wood. Uh, all's going good. So. We're going to head off and have our show tonight, and that'll be great. I'm looking forward to seeing some, some dear friends who are coming to the show. Um, musically, I was digging around when I got in because I wasn't tired at all and, um, and found uh, an album that um, I had worked on back uh, here. Well, let me pull up a different piece of information here, and I'll tell you. Uh, it's an artist named Elliot Morris. And we did this album in 2006. And it's called What's Mine is Yours. Um, and uh, it was produced by Tony Berg. I'm going to read a few credits here. Um, uh, Joe Ciccarelli, Steve Rhodes, and Tony Berg uh, did the uh, recording on this. Uh, it was mixed by the great Bob Clearmountain, mastered by Bob Ludwig. Um, Tony Berg did additional engineering on it. Um, we recorded this at Cello Studios, which is now East West, and some they did work at Ocean Way also. Um, 
Oh, what do we got here? I'm going to go back to this other thing. I'll tell you a little, little bit about uh, Elliot here. Uh, it, just a, a quick thing from Wikipedia. Elliot Morris grew up one of six kids to his parents' house in Mobile, Alabama, a typical Southern upbringing with typical boyhood interests until the day his father brought home a CD player and a Motown compilation. He met Chris Sevier, and the two began writing and recording songs, playing the occasional show. After a number of years, Elliot decided to pursue music as a solo artist. He went to Auburn University in 1999, where he graduated with a degree in finance. It was at Auburn University where Morris, playing open mic and writer's nights, really came to believe that he was writing some special songs. He released his own independent record in 2002, shortly after Morris caught the eye of Gary Gersh, who helped discover Nirvana, Counting Crows, Hole, and Mars Volta. Gersh signed Elliott to his Strummer records. Morris began recording What Is Mine Is Yours in 2004. He'd originally been signed to Strummer Records, a universal subsidiary that went away as Morris says in a typical industry reorganization, Morris tried to rebuild his solo status by CD sharing and touring locally as well as um, side, uh, being on stage with such names as John Mayer, Counting Crows, and James Taylor. His first single from the album was Balancing the World. Crayola also helped with building his recognition by using his song This Colorful World on one of their commercials. Today Morris resides in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, but I found this, and I, God, you know, I, I was listening to it, and I was going, shit, this is really, really good. And then I looked at the, the list of, of people involved on this, and uh, it was uh, it was great. So I'm going to play a, a, a couple of songs from this. Um, now, let me give you some, some names. Here's the first song I'm going to play. It's called The Moment You Believe, and it's myself on bass, Victor Andrizzo on drums, Val McCallum on guitar, Elliot uh, Morris on acoustic guitar, David Lindley on lap steel, Craig Durge on piano, Becca Bramlett on background vocals and percussion, Glenn Phillips on background vocals, and the main vocal is Elliot Morris. So here we go. Let me uh, play a couple songs. This is really good stuff. The Moment You Believe.
Man, you're really good. Um, it's really, I mean, God, boy, David Lindley, what a signature sound. I mean, the minute he starts, hits his first notes on the, on the steel, on the lap steel, it's like you go, oh, it's Lindley. It's just it's incredible. Um, I'm going to do, uh, here's one called Fault Line. And it's myself again, Victor and Drizzo on drums, Elliot Morris on acoustic guitar, um, David Immergluck on mandolin, Patrick Warren on chamberlain, uh, David Immergluck on pedal steel, uh, Craig Durge, the great Craig Durge on piano. Um, it lists me as percussion on this. I remember this one, I think. And this is great. And background vocals are Sarah and Sean Watkins. They are just, in, the Watkins are just incredible. And Rick Chris Thiel on background vocals also. Um, so here we go. This is called Fault Line. Let me find this one in here. Here we go. Crown is confusion confidently surrounds himself in illusion so completely so I've come to just this conclusion that under us a fall line patiently waits for the right time I'll open your eyes to the signs I hope you know that we all are disappointed I'd like to meet with this guy you think I'm with you Please pencil in my appointment Preferably this evening Just as the sun starts retreating Oh hurry, my heart's bleeding I want to believe that my life might affect some choices I need some silence, this noise is growing loud among us Clouding our thoughts, God protect us Some things cannot be bought I've seen the crowds like a mother Embrace the madness I've seen our actions as authors so much sun is so I'm seeking sunlight and darkness Though I think I've found some Oh God only knows of the Solution. Still, I've come to just this conclusion Under us a fall line Patiently waits for the right time I'll open your eyes to the sun Yeah, open your eyes to the sun Um, do a couple more here, and then I'm going to get head up and go to load in and sound check. Uh, this is called Balancing the World, and again, it's myself and Victor Indrizzo on drums, Blake Mills 
on guitar, Elliot on acoustic guitar, David Lindley on lap steel, Patrick Warren on harmonium, Craig Durge on piano, Luis Conti on percussion, Becca, Becca, <laughs> Becca Bramlett and Glenn Phillips on background vocals and the main vocal is Elliot. So here we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm loving this album. Yeah, I hadn't heard it since we recorded. This record it's really strong um i may visit it again tomorrow and play a couple more tracks from it but for right now i gotta get get moving here uh get this uploaded and head off to a load in and sound check and gig um, throw a little little meal in there somewhere and that'll be it just uh 
been munching on almonds here uh, this morning. Um, so take good care. Have a great day. I'm looking forward to a plane tonight. And uh, and again, my, my heart so goes out to the music community at these uh, incredible losses we've been experiencing. Uh, but boy, Jeff, this was such a shocker to get on the plane and have somebody, did you hear about Jeff Beck? And we're going, what, what? And they say, he passed away. It's like, are you kidding? Jesus. So, man, Jeff, man, thank you for being you and doing all you did. And I am so thrilled that Jeff is in my book. Uh, I saw him in Japan. I got, that was the night I got Rhonda Smith's picture. She's playing bass with him and a bunch of the cats there, but uh, grab Jeff in the dressing room. It was really great. He was in motion, so he's sitting there looking at me, but his hand's like a blur because he's going like this. So, yeah, I loved you, Jeff. So, take good care. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm out of here. Bye.